some folks getting ready to go to Africa. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So brother, brother, brother Jerry, uh, if you can, can you? Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, first of all, um, I'm happy to see another group going. And uh, Bomani's doing a fantastic, fabulous job. Yeah. Yeah. Reconnecting our people yes. in a real way. Yes. You hear a lot of people talking about Pan Africanism. This is functional Pan Africanism. Yes. He's taking you not just here and there to meet people who are doing things and uh, repatriating and yes. investing. And, and you know, so I think he's seen it enough that he can really give you a realistic picture of what's really going on. So, and then you'll meet people there too, and we can tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly. And ain't none of it as ugly as this. Yeah. 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 Okay, how is it? Uh, I don't know what's going on here. So Jerry, uh, how long have you been there in Ghana? Uh, uh, this 14, one give you. 14 years. Wow. <laughs> That's worth it right there. <laughs> and, and I think the one very good thing he's doing, I, you're not going to be able to take them to Brahma Hospital, I don't think. But, right, or are you? Oh yeah, we're going to one half. Oh, that's part of the yeah. Oh, oh we, have, we have the party bus going around the entire country. Oh, okay. <laughs> we spend big money on it, uh, courtesy of all of the wonderful people sitting in front of you. <laughs> no, but, but it's worth it. It's worth it to have good transportation where you can get outside and just a normal thing. Because when you start talking about getting land and everything, yeah. the places they'll take you are places that will be less conflict on the land, less cost, and it's just Nice. Yeah. You know, they got us all herded in one idea that we got to be in one place. No, I mean, it's, so, it's such a grand, big place, you know, mm -hmm. but in terms of legality and those things. So, you can take the right place. Yes, Jerry, Jerry, you can actually join us. We got one more space on the bus. By the time I get home, I ain't going to be able to go nowhere. <laughs> this this place does wear you out. Are we going to see you? Home. We're, gonna, we're not going to see you again? Oh, I'll be there. I'll be there when you get there. Uh, uh, page 43, uh, that's uh, where we're going. Page 43, uh, you're taking some nice pictures there. And when I get there, you know, naturally I'm going to take my own pictures and videos and everything. Okay. But we're going to put you, uh, you know, we're going to put you beyond the map. Okay. She, she said she wanted me to tell you a couple of things about it. Well, Prom Prom is, um, it's a community about an hour or so up the coast from Accra. And uh, there's a good amount of people from the diaspora who've been moving out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a pretty good little community now. Um, uh, African Americans? Yes, yes. And some Jamaican, you know, we have people from different places, yeah. Um, rural? It's near the coast. Uh, yeah, rural. yeah, it's kind of rural, but it's growing so fast. Um, you can't really see it on this picture, but I have an aerial view. If you go to uh, Facebook, African Ancestral Wall Ghana on Facebook. You can see the, uh, the aerial view and then you can see how the development is going outside of where I live. I got there, I was the only person there. And now it's like, it's really kicking off. And I think, yeah, in the book, is it there? Yeah, yeah so the thing is there in the book. Um, but you're all gonna have a wonderful time and you're going to, even if right away you don't decide you're going to move, because you'll see some things, but then you come back, you'll think about it a year or two or three, and then you'll start thinking, you know, maybe now's the time. Yeah. And uh, Bronco Hoffa is a great place. I inherited so two grandsons okay. <laughs> sitting over there. Okay. So I'm eager to get up there. Yeah, start putting so, in a place for their future. Yeah. Right. Uh, school systems, and I'd like to talk to you about, you know. Yeah. School systems, it's like everything. They run the gamut from terrible to great. And, uh, and from, well, not as, you know, prom prom too, but uh, prom prom is not as good as I would like to be. I spend a lot of time with my children. I got a 20 year old that's on the phone with this now. She's here in the US. I got a seven and an eight year old. Don't ask. <laughs> but it's cool. So, yeah, so they live in Prefer. Yeah, they live in Prefer. Oh, cool. You'll see it. I live in the compound there. Okay. This compound there? This, this oh, yeah. So, so this, how much that's going right there? Like a bottle of fountain. How much? Just 
Prime Prime. In Prime Prime, I wouldn't. I would be very. I, honestly, I wouldn't even so much recommend it out there because the land is just. Everything is in litigation. Mm. Because they sell and resell the land, he'll tell you about that. That's why I say if you can get away from, further away from a cry you are, the better off you are in terms of. Any yeah, other problems with land? Bank owners. I, I have a little place in the Dominican Republic, and we found the best way to do it is to go to the bank if they repossess to buy it from the bank directly. Oh, no, I don't know about that, but there's not a lot of that going on. Because, you know, like for us, the land is leased on our uh, 99 years, 50 years, whatever. Uh, so, I mean, it's a very tricky land. He knows that. Absolutely. So, but that's why what we're putting together is, is uh, going up to the Grand Hopper region. So we just got the 2.2 uh, uh, acres of land there, uh, right there by Benu Village. Benu Village is still have a quarter of an acre of land, a few plots of, of that size for 500 US dollars. So uh, when, you, when it comes to a problem, and outside of a car, you're looking at three to five thousand dollars per plot of land. And then like Jerry talked about, some of the situations are you know, issues with land, but when you go further out, you know, you're, you're more in, in, in contact with the culture and you're more in touch with the nature itself. So if you're looking to build sustainable or get into the sustainable world, which we're looking to build these wonderful communities across our Ghana, outside of the main cities, and you know, to get our folks you know, back into nature. So that's why we take you on the journey. We're going to go to Elmina, right by the beach way. There's land there, but that's about $3,000. Uh, probably not a tour guide. It's going to talk about that. So we have a few different land sites that we don't have on a tenor that we're going, to, we're going to go through. And the goal is just to keep on going through the details and uh, just take you to as much place as possible in two journey. And then everything is just laid out for you to plan, plan your future. And if you want to stay back longer, you can change the ticket to stay back longer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the price range is $100 a flat to 8000 or 9000 a flat. It depends on where you like in the US, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yes, it can get out. But, but you have to be open to being further out. That's the key. Because the, one, one thing we have to look at in Ghana is the bottom half of the country is very developed. And then the top half of the country, what would you say about the top half of the country? It's not even the bottom half, just the coast is more developed. You don't have to go far north from Accra. Like yeah. seven hours where we're going, like right? Seven hours. Yeah. Okay. The, that's the, the second place that we're going, long, which is the longest drive. Yeah. We basically drive, once we leave, we're spending four days in Accra, and then once we leave there, we're going to Grand Hopper region and catch him on for three days. That's a long seven hour journey. And then what we do, well, we're on our journey, we watch our documentaries and we do our introductions and we just enjoy our social party gatherings. And we want to sing, do poetry, we can volunteer, share information. It's like the perfect group setting. And if you just want to put on your headphones and relax, just, re just hit the refine button and just relax and yeah. zone out. Uh, yeah, we have access to uh, Wi-Fi. Yeah, you have access to Wi-Fi at all the hotels except for one Africa. Now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to get a portable Wi-Fi and then we're going to put it in the restaurant area and all of us will be able to use it in there. Hey, but on the bus? And on the bus? In the bus, uh, I have to limit the bus uh, uses the internet. But if we can put together stacks of cash, we can order the, the internet. We can just add more minutes to the internet and I'll just have it running on the bus. Okay. Some places stop it, you have to get the chip. You know, you can change the, uh, I guess SMS or the SIM card. And then you can add Wi-Fi. Yes, uh, the setup I have is we have, um, we have a, a, a mobile a mobile system just like your phone, and then we have the phone itself where we just you know where we just use our mobile phone as a hot So you can be, so sometimes we want to uh, either on the bus you know, it will be connected to the main network, the MTN, yeah. and then while we're connected, we can just uh, use the Wi-Fi on the bus. But that's not really something that we really focus on in terms of internet on the bus. Yeah, it's only in case of an emergency. Well, I have to be in communication. My wife yeah. is, you know, she's a little bit in public. Perfect. Yeah, I need to be so what I do is, uh, uh, do you have an unlocked phone? Yes. So I perfect. Yeah, once you get there, we'll get you enough uh, minutes, uh, data minutes, so we always have uh, data minutes, so we can always just be online right. and always have uh, access to internet signal the entire time. Right. So yeah, so family, that, that is my brother, my good brother Jerry.
I got a question about Prayer Prayer. Yes, ma'am. So, Chief Me. Me by me. Yes, yes. Yeah. He's the chief of oh, the, uh, the region of the Prayer Prayer, the whole Prayer Prayer. The development chief. No, no. Oh, so there, are you close to him? Yeah, well, Prom Prom is all there, but he was. So you have what they sometimes call development chief, yes, yes. which you know that means they hope you come in to help develop. <laughs> He's not the chief of prom. Okay, development. Yeah, you can't unless you're from there. You're not going to be. There. That's the region that I have to learn about from here. No matter where it is, you're not going to be the chief of that okay. place. But you can be one of the chiefs, okay. and a lot of times they make uh, people from the diaspora development chiefs. And then they're kind of encouraging you to bring in some development, which he did. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. And so we're all, you know, trying to contribute something. You know. The stadium is one of the development. Are you familiar with that project? Say it again. The stadium in a prop. That he's working on? Yes, sir. I'm no. familiar with what he's told me about. You mean the stadium in, in, in a tempo or prop? Pro? No, he's, he's right there on the, you know, uh, you know, Nungwa. Yeah. You know, the, the beach road from Nungwa to Tema. It's all like marshy back there. Oh, so they're talking the about right? developing. That's what me is working on. Oh, so perfect thing. Develop. They have a mall there, but what he's talking about is like much grander. Than that. Oh, I mean, it's I'm serious. Curious. I'm excited to be coming to your region. I've seen the plan. Absolutely. Oh, it's a first. Like here's the conversation for me. I was talking about like it's all good. I mean, the fact that I'm preparing to go on this journey of a lifetime by divine appointment. I don't believe in coincidences ever, ever. And so the fact that we're lining up here even today, yeah, prior to going, I've been with my money I think seven times, we haven't done that like this before. It's a new day. I tell you, I'm so happy that what she just said, it's a new day. Yes. yes. Just, you know, it's like all of a sudden we've seen it. You know, you can feel it everywhere. All of a sudden, it's like we've seen it. It's like, okay, what You know, I don't know if it's like, okay, you had eight years of Barack Obama, and you go, okay, that's about as good as it's gonna get, with all that good. Yeah, come on. That was a yeah, super. Yeah, we, and we I think that we were thinking, you know what, we better be looking around. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. yeah. And I think that's what's going on. And if you don't do that, you are suicidal, I'm telling you, because yeah, Every time I leave and come back, it's like more hostile than the year before. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's getting crazy. Yeah. The good thing about it, you've been able to, to, to see the duration of how things have been going on in Ghana and America for the 14 years because you've been going back and forth. Yeah. It's something. It's like you have a child, you know. If you're with them every day, you don't notice them growing yes, so much. Yes. You leave and come back, wow. You know, that's yes. how it is. You come back and you're like, wow. People are angry at y'all. Yes. <laughs> They're angry at y'all. Oh my goodness yes. gracious, to say the least. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what motivated you on your first journey, bro? I've kind of always been a godly at heart, so you know. I went to Senegal first and to Kino. I've been only, he's traveled after, he's seen a lot more African than me. I've only been in the West African country. I've never been to Kenya, South Africa, Ethiopia. I've been meaning to, but you know. You know, time, money, family, household. But why do you spend your time there? Do you have a business or? Well, you know, the restaurant is there. That's what you see at the top there. This one? Yes. And then we got the guest rooms there, and then I'm always somewhere agitated. Mm. You go, man, you got a whole page. Uh, yeah, I got a whole page. 43. <laughs> <laughs> it must be more than 43. 43. <laughs> All right. So yeah, you got a break? Yes, no, go ahead. So this is your restaurant? Yes, these are guest rooms down here. You see, I bring the children through and you, uh, you look at the, uh, the little Facebook thing here. You see, it's just like the break rooms and everything. The new tour book family, the Journey of a Lifetime tour book. I have eight different artists. Different yeah. Only available when you join the Journey of a Lifetime. Or you can, you can view the digital version right there on the website. <laughs> this, is, this is a 3D version also. Yeah, it's 
all together. Getting in with people. I'm actually a new member. It's all the same. You got your name down for three days. New Okay. It's sister that I had a Our brother Jerry right there, page 43. She does a lot for point twelve. What's her name? Yes. 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 She's the the head of Triple A. The association. African-American Association. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Tell me her first name again. Teresa. 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 Yeah. She, she shares a lot of great everything. Great. She, she doesn't live in Trump. She doesn't? Is she used to? Oh. Are you talking about Erna? I'm talking about Erna. I'm talking about Erna. 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 Erna lives just across the street from me. Erna, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we were Erna. together at um, the uh, uh, conference. Oh, yeah. That yeah. Is, uh, the yeah. conference. Yeah, she's I like got her. a lot going on. Yeah. Wow. We've so, been doing it. We're trying to. Mm -hmm. So, anybody got any? Don't call your questions back. You have someone here that you might want to. Yes, 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 family. Uh, Jerry's about to leave. Yeah, you and do too. And he'll, he'll be greeting us when we get to uh, yeah, Ghana. I'll be there. You'll be there? Yeah, I'm trying. At the airport? I won't be there. <laughs> <laughs> Can we come in? <laughs> I didn't think that's true. I like to be. It's I all right. No, no promise. So that, that's March 27th, and that's a Sunday, Jerry. We'll be there in the morning about um, about about, you know, yeah. about 10 o'clock. You know, on Sunday, my, my, my wife actually makes chibiches. You know what chibiches? No. 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 Uh, yeah, Senegalese dish. No. Oh, she's a Ghanaian. Uh, but she's learned from the Senegalese master. How to make chibijin. So on Sundays, what that is, one is. What are they? What is? Chibijin is, is fish, it's rice, it's uh, uh, um, uh, cassava, cabbage, mm. eggplant, mm. Uh, mm. carrot. Hey, one dish. And it's, it, the fish is stuffed with another fish. Oh. Right? Oh, good. Uh, it's, it's, it is the staple of some it's, it's the tradition for your Most people don't know how to do it, but she came and practiced until she got so it. So we're going to be staying there for a little while. So. <laughs> yeah. 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 The Sunday night, we're going to do a night. So y'all get to my place, y'all be like, what are we doing tomorrow? Yeah. 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 The next day we're going to the Brown Mouth for a reason, so that it's not going to dry. I'm excited. What's your queen's name? Aboma. Aboma. And the restaurant is named. I saw it. Aboma. It's named after her. Okay. I'm looking forward to that cinnamon. Yes. Oh, what are y'all eating? After You said when? What What are you eating? I don't know. We have, we have to get the menu together. I like, I like seafood. I like fish. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. We good. It's not good. It's not good. It's not It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. It's not It's not good. 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 It's not It's not It's not the best thing in Ghana that I've done in terms of food. Yeah, so yeah. They have the best pineapple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not dying. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You see this. So, yeah, so family, also, when we get to, we, we get to, we leave, we leave uh, Accra about 9 o'clock, and we get to Prom Prom at 10 o'clock. Okay. And then the goal is to return back and get back to Accra about 4 o'clock. But while we're there, uh, lunch is scheduled. Uh, so you just we, we'll probably do a pre-order if you want to go yeah, well, we, 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 we do, we do but you can do buffet. It sounds nice. A lot of people like that. Yeah. Um, like that. Give me a fat rate snapper. Or you can. Yeah. 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 See, you know what happens. Yeah. 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 Okay, well, we'll talk more about that. But, you know, sometimes. Oh, wow. uh, is that how many people? Nah, it's going to be uh, at that point, it'll be uh, 33 of us. Yeah, and we think so when we have like 30 or more or something, we, just, we have a buffet. And then that way, we got some everything. We like the buffet. So we just agree on uh, like chicken and fish and different things ahead of time. And then we put our money together and do our uh, lunch. Because lunch is the only thing that's not included. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we have, uh, of course, red fish, red snapper. We do that. Tilapia, they grill that nicely. And of course, if you want things like rice, different kind of rice, you know, white rice, fried rice, chola rice, um, 
and then you know we have local dishes. Okay, we have grilled chicken. We have you know. Please don't let us know. We can have like a cookout. We have a. <laughs> Anybody vegetarian? That's the one I have. We have a thing, uh, vegetarian dish. People love it. It's uh, called it's right. kubani. It's, it's, it's made, you know, but we have to know that they want it. Because he doesn't just do it unless we know we have it. We're going to send the menu right so we can look at all the menu together. That's okay. That to body. All this talk about food, right? If you're not a vegetarian, they're going to make some money here today. <laughs> Chubani is like a bean based, even if you're not a vegetarian, you find yourself putting everything else aside, eating that stuff. I mean, it's, 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 a lot of people really love it. It looks like, looks like hot links cut up the way it looks. You know? It's a bean, but it's a bean based thing. They wrap it in these leaves. And, so it's an elaborate process. It is a Senegalese dish. No, no, no. This is a northern Ghana dish. Okay. Oh, okay. The Chibujin is the Senegalese dish. Okay. I have to go. My daughter's dance recital is at five. This is the Atlanta so I got to go. Okay. I'll see you. I got your call. I don't mean to try to help you, Ms. Sharon. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. I'm glad. Come on. Hey, hey. Our sister Kelly. Our sister Kelly. Yes, Kelly. Get on that plane, might not want to come back. My sister Kelly, you already. I'm glad you stopped by and got your tour bag, your, your t shirt, your tour book. All right. And so, family, yes. Say, so family, I'm going to see you May 23rd in Ghana. I'm going to see you May 23rd in Ghana, honey, with the quickness. Yes. Absolutely. My sister, so we'll be catching up with you. All right. All the dogs Thank you so much. Yeah, some other brother that's not been on the camera. <laughs> yes, let's give everybody a greeting to Atlanta. And family, once again, this is the Atlanta crew getting ready for Ghana tour May 23rd to June 5th. All right. All right, y'all. I'm going to get it. All right. Thank you. Great to see you on the other side. See you on the other side. Yes. Thank you. So family, we're going to take a break and get something to eat and then we'll come back and let you know about all other things. We're just networking here at the Soul Vegetarian Restaurant here in Atlanta in the West End.
some of the effects. <laughs> See me is as I drive by, yeah. but then they have to interact with other kids. So I have to get them out of there. Yeah, get a picture with the hand. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's been a long yeah. 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 It's so great because what happens when the journey? He says we. Oh, me and the team. Oh, okay. okay. Also had a lady named Chef B. Yeah, I know Chef B. I know her. I'm telling you. Okay. Dr. Shumi. Okay. Yeah, she's mm. awesome. Holistic. You know, you know. Okay. You got the best. Yeah, yeah. So she came and did our smoothie. So your family. Yeah. We are about to go get us some food to eat and link it back. And this is just a warm up for a Ghana journey of a lifetime. <laughs> but here's the thing that I, I, I like to kind of facilitate a little more of this on the journey. It's like we all come bearing great gifts. And I've been one who like to stir up the gifts. So when you introduce yourselves, whenever we do, don't hold back anything, right? Sometimes we as African people, you know, we bought civilization to the whole world, right? And our ancestors, we've done everything, no spot where we're not, right? And then sometimes when we introduce ourselves, like I know there's so much greatness in our midst, and I know some of the brothers and sisters here, but some I don't know. And what I really want to know as early as possible is who we grow to be. Like, who you be? Like, oh yeah, because the power of the mastermind or the group has always been beyond what you can ask for it. And the Creator has a master plan for this journey at this time, right? So it works through us, uh, through individuals, you see. So we, it's an opportunity to share your business, your ministry, your gift, your children, what you're up to in the world, what your vision is. The more that generous that you are in 
offering that, then the more that we can, and the universe can facilitate, you have the journey of the lifetime too. That's really, because I know Anne into this business, and like she was saying, talk a little bit about it. And, and we met at a gathering, I was at both this, this week, and I spoke of her, we just met one time, and um, like I said, I don't believe in coincidence, but out of that meeting, it was like amazing, was like, oh my God, she's coming, and your mom is here. She was gonna be on this trip. I don't know. Later, so. uh, yeah, because I, uh, I missed one trip uh, last year, I don't go every year, you know, but I went two times last year, and I stayed for two months and a half. Because that was uh, uh, something I really wanted to do. Like at a certain age, people consider quote retirement. Mm -hmm. We don't ever retire. No. We reinvent. Right. There's no retirement ever. But uh, working with seniors, I get that. But uh, those two and a half months gave me. And Bomani recommended that if you can manage to stay a little longer. We certainly have people on the ground. The Dr. Sharita, who I stayed with up in the mountains of Missouri. It was like the greatest gift I could ever give myself. And you don't have to delay that. Life is right now. Right. You see, there's too many shifts happening. There's too many people that were here yesterday that transition tomorrow and love. And hopefully it gives us the momentum uh, to live our best lives now. You know, and this is a part. Of it. And it's not uncommon. I gotta say this piece for families to travel with us. Uh, Jerry was asking Bomani if we had any children or youth coming this time. We've had families of five who travel with us, you see. So sometimes it's husband and wife, and sometimes it's God or whatever. But however the way it looks, we're, we're a family. And uh, we work together well as a family. So there's nothing that you can't ask us and you know, bring to us. And, if there's special needs and considerations that you have to be aware of, we can do it one on one. It may not be as comfortable in the group starting off, and that's okay. And so we avail ourselves. Of that. Absolutely. So, yeah. so, Mom, do you want to come? I want to, but I next year. Next year's good. Next year. Let me tell you about next year, family. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 2019. Yeah. It's going to sell out quick. Uh, and I'm, I'm speaking a word that don't return void. Uh, why? Because some of us want to come now and we need a little bit more time to prepare. That's realistic. The Landway plan always has worked for me in my journeys. Trust me, no credit cards here ever in my whole adult life. Not like that or wrong. I'm a cash and carry girl. Give me your cash and I carry to my bank. No, but it's true. Our money goes so much further. So much further. It's just why it's Stephanie and I thought about it after we got back last year. Stephanie stayed uh, two months with me too. She came back for a day after she retired from Emory. But she stayed longer because we could. And we learned so much about the geography of people, just the assimilation, even a little bit of the language. You see, Stephanie? But more importantly, it's just natural. What's natural and what's not natural in certain things are just natural. Communication, everything lives in communication. And if you communicate some things in advance, then you're more likely to talk to our tour guides and, and see what we can do to accommodate certain kinds of things. But I, when Andy told me that, I'm like, ooh, yeah. Because with social media now, particularly, a lot of the linkages in Ghana, like they're buzzing, they're waiting for people that we know. I have a question. Yeah. My 
No, I didn't get it married in August 30th. I need somebody to make me up. Oh, okay. So I, as soon as I get there, I want to take care of it. Okay, that. good. We have people in uh, who wait for us, who sew for us, and they're some of the best, you know. Uh, we have uh, everything from people who do leather, or but in terms of the, your wedding outfit, uh -huh. the colors, uh, what you're running, a style, even if you can sketch it out. Right. Yeah, that's what happens. When you go into the hotels, they come to us. Okay. And, uh, you know, we interact with the Kenton Clark villages and the Adinkra Symbol Standing villages. And you have experiences with these textiles of traditional Ghanaian art. I love that as an artist. Mm -hmm. You get to make and weave a little bit and stamp in the places where the origins of these come from. Right. Uh, people in the Shanti Kingdom uh, uh, around that way. And that's exciting. But yeah, that's real. That's real. Congratulations. Getting married in August. August 30th. Okay, so the colors that you want, yeah. We can have that happen. Oh, we'll yeah. introduce you to the people. Okay. That's exactly how you do that. Then one time, they came and measured our feet for the leather to make the sandals. And they had the sandals ready when we come back the next time. And um, it's very awesome. Um, it touches my heart because I like circulating my money with folk that look like me. Right, right. And they all look like me. They all look like us. And, it's not saying, and it's quality, you know, so these are people that have come for decades that we built relationships with the Bumani and Africa for the Africans who love to service us. So our tour guide, if there's something specific that you know that you're wanting, even from herbs to moringa to shea butter to whatever, then we, we interact with bias groups and do things like that. Yeah, and, the, and the more that you're clear about, this is me, uh, what you're wanting, the presence of which will make a big difference for you. Then you, know, you say that in this yeah. 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 Excellent, uh, Sass. Appreciate your energy. Let me close this recording, and family will connect back with you.